In QGIS, you can use the field calculator to create and update fields in your datasets attribute table. In this tutorial, I'll go over some basics of using the field calculator and show you how to build some simple expressions. First, I'm going to access the attribute table of my dataset, which shows municipalities in the state of New York. So I will right click on the layer and go to open attribute table. Then next, I want to click on the pencil button here that will toggle edit mode on. This is what it looks like when it's on. If I don't perform this step and then go into the field calculator, QGIS will actually turn edit mode on for me. And so then I'll click on the open field calculator button right here. And here at the top, you have a few different options. You have create a new field or update an existing field. In this case, I'm going to first try creating a new field. So to do this, I need to add a field name. I'm going to call this notified. Then I need to select the field type that will apply. So what type of data is going to be included in this field? In this case, it's going to be text or a string. Then I will change the output field length to one since it will only have one character. The precision box here, this only applies to a decimal number field, so it won't apply in this case. Now, at its most basic level, you can use the field calculator to just batch populate values in a field. So let's say I wanted all the values in my new field to be the letter Y. So all I need to do is input that value into this expression box here. But since it is a text or a string field, I need to input the values with a single quote. So just single quote Y and then single quote. So I click OK and there's my new field. Now let's say I wanted to update the values in that field. What I could do then is just go back into my field calculator and click on update existing field. Then navigate to the field I'm interested in, which is notified. And then if I wanted to update all of the values, I could just again, within single quotes, enter a new value like that. Or what I could have done before going back into the field calculator was to select certain features and then just apply the change in value to those features. And I would do that by clicking on this button at the top, the only update selected features uh, box right here, which would have been active had I actually selected some, some features. Okay, so let's look at some ways we can populate fields by building more complex expressions. This column that you see in the center contains many, many different functions that you can use to populate your fields. So let's just click on one of these categories here. Let's do string. And so here are a lot of different functions that you can apply to strings. If I click on one of these functions, on the right, it will give me a short description of what that function does. It will include the syntax that you would need to use to use it and the arguments included as well. And then it also gives you one or more examples of, of how to actually use that function, which I find really helpful. If you want a list of all of the different functions in the field calculator, they are actually listed in the QGIS user's manual that's on the QGIS.org site. 
I've included a link to that document in the video description. But besides functions, this section also includes a list of all of the fields in your data set. So if I click on fields and values, here are all of the fields in my data set. And to the left of the name of each one, you have the field type. So ABC means it's a text or a string field. 123 means it's an integer. 1.2 means it's a decimal number. And you have some date fields here as well. So let's actually create a, an expression. So what I would like to do is concatenate the values from two different fields into a new field. In this case, I want a new field that indicates the municipality. So using this muni type V2 field and the name of the municipality. So it would read like city of Albany as an example. And so to do that, I'm going to create a new field. I'm going to call the new field community. It's going to be a text field. I'm going to change the output field length to 50. And then I'll go down to the string functions and concat is the function I want to use. And so I'll double click on this to add it to our expression builder. And then if you look at the syntax listed over on the right, I need to add what I want to concatenate separated by commas. And so I'll go up to my fields. And first I want to add this muni type, double click on that, add a comma, and then I want it to say, you know, city of Albany. So I need to add that text in single quotes. First I'll add a space and then of, and then another space and then a single quote and then a comma. And then I need to add my second field, which is the name of the, the municipality by double clicking on that. Now, you may notice as I'm typing that QGIS is, is uh, doing some stuff down at the bottom of the window here. Right now, it's saying my expression is invalid, which is true because I haven't completed it. But if you do complete it and it still says this, it will give you more information about what the problem is down here. I'm just going to add my closing parenthesis. And then that makes the the error go away. And then down here, I can see a preview of what the values are going to look like. That's what I want. So I'm going to click on OK. And there I have my new field here. One of the benefits of using the concat function, because there are other ways that um, you can concatenate values in the field calculator. But the concat function, what it does is if you want to concatenate, say, a field that is a numeric field or just adding a number, then it's going to automatically convert those values into strings, which is necessary because it's going to be a string field. And so that's one last thing you need to worry about when you're using the concat function. So one thing you can do with numeric fields is you can just perform simple arithmetic, like adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing the values in fields or just multiplying a field times a certain factor or whatever. So for example, 
I have these population figures here for each of my municipalities. Let's say I wanted to see what the population change was between 2010 and the year 2000. I could simply just create an expression that subtracted this 2000 field from 2010. So let's do that. So I'll call this new field pop change. And I'll keep it as an integer and I'll keep the field length the same. But I'll go to fields and values and then double click on pop 2010 add a minus sign and then double click on pop 2000 and then just click OK. And there I have my population change for each of my features. OK, let's talk about calculating area and feature length. These are two of the most common things that are done using the field calculator. First, be aware that the projection of your data set is going to affect the values that are calculated. So if you don't have a lot of experience working with projections, I'd recommend doing a little reading up on how projections do affect those types of measurements. Another thing, I believe that the default measurements that you'll get when you do these calculations is based on your coordinate system, but you can change that by going into your project properties from the main menu, going to project and then properties. And then under the general tab, You'll see under measurements, you can change your units for distance measurement and for area measurement. So in my case, I have it set to square miles because I live in America. And I'll just click OK and we'll go back into open attribute table and our field calculator. And I'm going to create a new field that includes the area for each of my features. So I'll call it area. I'm going to use decimal number. I'll keep these defaults for field length and precision. Then I will go into geometry. And what I want is this area with the dollar sign in front of it. So I'll double click on that and click OK. And there is my area in square miles. So whenever you're making these types of calculations, and this just is this isn't just for QGIS, this is really for any GIS software you really want to take a look at what is output and make sure it makes sense. So, I mean, from just the units of measurement you're expecting and also the actual area of the feature, you know, just take a look and usually it'll be pretty obvious if there's something not quite right there. Now, if we wanted to calculate the length of a feature, if we had like a, a line data set, the way you would do that is you would go to geometry again and select this length with the dollar sign in front of it. And again, you would just double click and add it as an expression. So those are just a few basic ways that you can use the field calculator. Once you've finished making updates, then be sure to save your edits. 
And then if you're finished editing, you can just toggle your edit mode off.